What is up everybody? Welcome back to GTA Online and well in this video I'm going to take a look at the BF Surfer Custom which I'm sure you guys probably recognize this vehicle from driving around the map a little bit at least in Blaine County anyway but one thing I do want to mention though I did see something about this car apparently being in Benny's workshop like a rumor. I do want to confirm guys you can't actually drive this vehicle in there unless there's another one coming out that I don't know about which honestly with Rockstar I would not doubt that but with this one though you will not be able to drive this thing into Benny's and if you guys do want to buy this vehicle for the trade price you're looking at about $442,000 and then I believe like the actual price without the trade is like $590 or something so the car's not really that expensive. But do keep in mind this thing is insanely slow and takes like 30 to 40 minutes to get to 60 miles per hour. But let's see what can be done to the BF Surfer Custom. So I have done the armor and the brakes already. Moving over to the bumpers now with the front one. So there's a couple we can do. So the sticker bomb. Sticker bomb all. Okay, so I would say there's not really much you can do to it. But then again, after seeing this vehicle drive around the map for a bit, I'm honestly not really that shocked. So... For me though, I'm most likely going to leave the stock front bumper on this thing. I mean, the black one does look kind of cool, and or I guess that's plastic apparently, which uh, I would not put that on here. But moving over to the rear bumpers now, we're only going to be two of these. So you have the plastic bumper and then finally the sticker bomb, which I would say the sticker bomb is actually pretty cool looking. But now moving over to the engine customization for this, all you guys can do is max out the engine, which honestly it definitely does need that. Then we'll have 16 exhausts for this, so here's the second one. I'll put that one on there for now. The single angled, maybe small. I guess the one way you do have to look at this is the fact that there is a good amount of exhaust you can put on the vehicle, even though some of these definitely do look kind of weird. Now I have seen something like that on some of the Beetles, so I guess that would kind of fit the car a bit. But again guys, I'm probably not going to use any of these. My goodness, look at that. All right. Then we have the last one facing out the side. So I would say that doesn't actually look bad. I've actually seen a few of these Volkswagen minibuses with an exhaust just like that. So I would say that would fit the car pretty decently. Then we have the grill now. There's a good amount of these. So you could change the tire. Make it wood there. Sticker bomb. Looks like a... What does that do? Let me look. Oh, I don't even have a tire on the front right now. Tells you how much I actually pay attention to some of these vehicles. There's a skull. That's kind of funny looking. Now one thing I do want to try though is I will put the spare wheel uncovered on here because I kind of want to see if you guys did change the rims on the car. If the front one is going to change as well, which honestly if I had to guess, it probably won't. But we do have to check that out. But moving over to the next thing will be the headlight covers here. Those actually look kind of cool on there, I'm not going to lie. Then we have it looks like the like X things on there and or braces. Then we have the closure for the headlights, so I'm probably going to leave those off. They don't really look all that bad, but not really feeling that. Then we have the ladders here, the back ladder, that side, and then the other side. So for this, I'll probably go with the passenger side ladder. And then for this, guys, if you did want to, by the way, because you are in the arena workshop, you could put some crazy looking headlights on this vehicle. I'll go with the regular ones on it there, not really going to waste the money on that. Then let's look at the liveries. Looks like the stripes. Then we have, oh my, look at that. Exactly what I was expecting from this. Then we have the flames, looks kind of cool. Piss washer. Then we have the stripes on the side there. Then obviously the flowers. Rusty sunset looks kind of cool. I've actually seen a couple of vehicles with like that setup on it where it looks rusty, but it's like the paint job. Okay, I'm not going to lie, guys. That lost MC is actually pretty sweet. I do kind of like that a bit. Then we have the heart of the LS there, or I heart the LS, has the east side there, Los Santos, and we have tagged, then we have that one, and then finally the peace and love, which I think is, is that just on the top? It looks like it is, so I would say this car does have a good amount, so for this guys, if you do want it, you will have to complete one of the missions for that, which I do believe that's going to be one of the main missions you have to do, so you will basically unlock that for this anyway, but... Besides that though, that will do it for the liveries of the car. For me, I'm probably going to leave them off, even though some of them do look pretty cool. So here's the mirrors. We have the square, then we have top mounted. I think those look kind of cool on there for some odd reason. Something you would expect on a bus. My goodness, look how big these are. These mirrors really do look kind of hilarious on this thing. But then again though, the way this truck is designed, if you do want to call it that, maybe it's like a small SUV. Regardless though, maybe those mirrors might actually be helpful. But for me though, I do have to admit, I'm probably going to leave these stock mirrors on the vehicle. I mean, the top mounted ones do look kind of cool, but 
I'm kind of more feeling the other ones on this vehicle for the most part. But moving over to the next thing is going to be the color. So for this, I was kind of mixed on the vehicle. I really did not know what I wanted to do with it. But for this, I'm probably going to leave the top part of the vehicle white. And then for the bottom, I decided to actually go with red. I feel like it would fit it pretty well and also kind of match the white in a way. But moving over to the next thing is going to be the roof now. So I'm hoping to add some cool stuff to the top of this thing. So 31 other items you can put on. So obviously surfboards. I have definitely seen that obviously being in Florida as well. So that's pretty cool to see that. And I think a lot of people would probably throw surfboards on the top of one of these. I really do feel like these are very capable vehicles, even though you really don't see that many of them. So have some modern surfboards on the top. Then we have, um, that's a OK Alt one there, then two of those. We have the retro. Basically a lot of different surfboards. I was hoping for like something, maybe like materials or like tires or something like that. I really don't know. OK, there we go. Now we're getting warmer. We have some luggage, lots of luggage. We have some racks there. I might actually go with one of the surfboards on this thing, even though I don't actually surf. We have a week-long trip. I kind of like that one a bit, but I feel like you kind of have to throw some surfboards on this thing. So let's go with the double classic surfboards. Then here's the roof. You can also paint it. So for this, guys, I'm probably not going to have the roof painted, um, only because I also feel like that red doesn't match the vehicle itself. It could be because it's dark in here where I'm customizing the vehicle. I really don't know why the arena workshop is so dark sometimes, but besides that though, I would say the red on the top does actually look pretty cool. So might as well throw that on there. Then obviously you can also do like a wooden roof, which um, looks kind of weird, I would say. Then we also have the sticker bomb. And then moving over, if you guys, by the way, did want to sell this thing, $400,000 after you did buy it. So I did spend the actual like full money on this thing because I didn't have the trade price. So... You're going to lose some money on the vehicle there. But let's lower this thing all the way down. Looks kind of odd. So we have these sunshades here. Which I normally don't use these sunshades and or these sun strips on many of the vehicles. Because I don't really like how some of them look. But I would say for something like the surfer here. Maybe having something like this on the front of it. Depending on the build you guys might be going after. And or the way you want your vehicle to look. This might actually look kind of cool on there. But now besides that, let's do the transmission upgrade on the car, which this thing definitely needs. We do need a turbo in there. So for the wheels on the surfer here, I was actually going to go with like the low rider rims or something. But I was like, you know what? Let's add some off-road tires to this vehicle because I feel like they might actually look kind of sweet. And it turns out, guys, some of these rims definitely look pretty nice on here. So I'm going to add these. Head over to the color. Do the tire enhancements because you never know. Tire upgrades there, and then moving down, I would say the windows. Let's do a light tint. So I did want to show this as well. So as you guys can see, I do have the upgraded rims on the car now, which is going to be off-road. Unfortunately, though, the front of the car is still going to remain the stock rim there, which I understand that it would be kind of hard to have, like, customized rims and or something like that to constantly change on the front. So for this, I'm probably going to leave this stock. So guys, arriving outside here with the BF Surfer Custom. So first impressions, by the way, hitting the gas on this thing is, um, let's see. Okay, it's not as slow as I thought it was going to be, but my goodness, if you guys were buying this vehicle for speed, I would say I would definitely look elsewhere. But then again, it's going to be one of the very few vehicles on GTA Online that don't cost $750 million to get it. So at least that's one way to look at this car. But let's pull into this area here by, I think that's a mall. That is a mall. Good. Let's go in here. No one's ever in this mall, apparently, probably because it is closed. Let's take a look at this thing now, though. Head over to vehicles, open all the doors up. Oh, look at that. So the entire thing actually opens up there. So the interior of this car is probably going to look exactly like I thought it was going to. But to be honest, guys, in real life, the Volkswagen is pretty old. I think these are from the 80s, I believe. I could be wrong on that. So I wasn't expecting to have like a big tablet in there like the new cars have and some really weird looking technology. So I would say it's going to look pretty dang normal. And for the most part, at least the interior does have some type of detail to it. You can see the bottom of that opening up as well. What can... Oh, you can kind of see the engine a bit. Let's see. Oh, look at the detail of the engine, if that's what you actually want to call that. It would have been kind of cool to have something where you can take that back piece off of the car. That way you can actually see the engine or something like that. But I guess maybe you could break it off it if you crash it. Might have to try that out. But overall, I would say the outside look of this thing is definitely looking pretty sweet. 
But now besides all that, I would definitely say this card does look pretty awesome. Definitely something you won't buy for speed, but then again, it's not going to be made for speed. But before I do this test drive, guys, one thing I do want to point out is it my imagination or is all four of these guys right here exactly the same with different clothes? My goodness. But besides that, let's go drive this thing now. So let's go take the surfer on a quick test drive around the city. Then I might attempt to do like some type of top speed test with it. Even though I would say that's probably the last thing many players are going to be looking for with this vehicle. And oh my goodness, there's a train. Wait. Okay, we're good. I thought I wasn't going to be fast enough to get past that. Let's go in first person and drive this thing though. And somehow I broke the top of it. Um, oh, probably when I hit the thing for the train tracks there. Oh my goodness, biker. I'm sorry. I could barely pass this dude. It looks like I'm sitting down. Look how slow I'm going right now. What in the world? So I would say the top speed on this vehicle is probably going to be maybe like 70 miles an hour, if that, which is, uh, I would say is going to be pretty accurate compared to the top speed of a real Volkswagen minibus. Let me know in the comments below, guys, how fast this thing actually goes in real life. I would almost guess like 60 to 70. If it was any faster than that, I would honestly get kind of nervous. But for the most part, this vehicle is going to be like a collector's item or something like that. If I had to guess, though, many players are most likely not going to waste 500k on this, and I could definitely see where you guys are coming from with that. I mean, I don't really think this car is all that great and or really that entertaining to drive, but maybe if you might be collecting some different types of vehicles, this car might look pretty dang cool in some type of collection. But now I did want to jump onto the highway here and mess around with the speed of this vehicle a little bit. Which you guys can see I can barely catch some of the traffic with the car. So I have a feeling the top speed on this vehicle is definitely not going to be all that great. It's probably going to be like 50 to 60 miles an hour as I did mention before. But again this is really not the type of vehicle you probably buy for like a top speed test or something. And if you guys were to use this thing in a public lobby and drive around, you're most likely going to get blown up by a Mark II. But hey, everybody really does love the lock-on sound, my goodness. I think that's pretty much embedded into everybody's head. But nonetheless though guys, if you are driving this vehicle, you could pretty much hang out with traffic. Because I notice I can barely catch the Land Rover looking truck in front of me and or Range Rover. That G-Wagon looking car is also kind of going off as well. So once they actually break, you can basically catch up to them. And this car is not going to be insanely fast at all. So I wasn't actually going to do a top speed test on the Surfer. But I was like, you know what? I might as well take this thing over by the tunnel just to see what it can do. I'm not going to lie, guys. I wasn't actually expecting this car to be all that fast anyway just from looking at it. Now imagine if you can actually engine swap this car, something like Need for Speed. That would honestly be hilarious. But overall, guys, I would say like 70 or 60 miles an hour is probably going to be the top speed on the Surfer. This car is definitely not going to be all that quick, and even full throttle, I was still almost getting passed by some of the pedestrians with the car, so if you guys were wanting to buy something like this for speed, it's definitely not going to be a great option. But one of the good things about this car though is the fact that it is going to be on the cheaper side compared to many other vehicles. So if you guys are going after like collections and all that, I would say this car would be worth going after. And luckily, even with the discount, the car is only like 440k if you guys buy it in a trade price. So luckily, the Surfer is going to be pretty dang cheap. But anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts on this car in the comments below. And are you guys planning on grabbing this thing?